obviously today on the vlog we're going to talk about discouragement the unaware weapon of satan sometimes maybe we don't realize that it really is a weapon of satan to bring discouragement into our heart and every and and as i travel i'm in different places i see quite a bit of discouragement and second corinthians 2 11 says least satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices there are many devices of the enemy I want to just deal with this one of discouragement for the next few weeks with you and hope that what we'll be able to do is bring encouragement to your life, okay? In 1 Samuel chapter 30 and verse 6, the Bible says, And David was greatly distressed. He says, For the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And so, you know, probably know the story behind this. David has led the people, the men of God, out to go to battle. And they've conquered some land, and they come back to Ziglag. As they come into Ziglag, they see smoke burning, uh, or smoke coming up from fires. That, and what's happened is the enemy, enemy came in and set their town on fire. And not only set their town on fire, but he took their children and their wives and all of their belongings and uh and so they've lost everything you gotta imagine it. it's hard for me to imagine to wake up one day and have lost everything and just the losses that i feel like i've suffered with nothing compared to this and the bible says that david was greatly distressed and and so we look here and see that the soul of the people was grieved that's what discouragement does to us and there are two different responses is David, David's losses were as huge as all the other men's losses, okay? I mean, he lost exactly what they lost. Add on the top of it the threat of being blamed for the event, and then the threat of being stoned by the very ones you love and lead. And so you, you see, David's got the same problem everybody else's, but add to that, as a leader, he's being blamed for the loss of all these men's families. And so David was distressed, and what does it mean to be distressed? The word distressed means to be literally vexed in your soul. The soul is what? The mind and the emotion. And so to be vexed or be distressed means to be uh, have struggles inside your mind, a battle going on in your mind and your emotions. Uh, it means to experience an internal harassment pain, and misery of mind. Think about that. How many times that the enemy is used to, to uh, harass us inside in our minds over what? Over different things that have happened. That's what's happening here. David was vexed. He was internally harassed and pain, misery, misery of mind. Discouragement, listen carefully, will rob you of your confidence in God. And discouragement can bring you so low that you become vulnerable to even further attacks and temptations from the devil. Let's dissect the word discouragement. You have the have dis, which is a prefix that means the absence of or the opposite of. You have the word courage, that's the state of mind that allows you to face life's negative circumstances with confidence. And so discouragement is the absence or the opposite of a confident state of mind to face life's negative circumstances with confidence. And once your confidence in God is depleted, you open the door to a host of other demonic attacks from the enemy of your soul. So here's what we're going to do in the next few weeks. We're going to deal with this subject of discouragement. And let's, let's really get uh, committed to going through all of these lessons together in the next few weeks so we can be an encouraged people not a discouraged people thanks for watching our looking for answers videos and uh this next couple of weeks we'll be looking at discouragement the unaware weapon of satan and satan uses this weapon of discouragement in many of our lives so it's always great to hear what we can do and what god can do through us so why don't you join us in the next couple of weeks on discouragement the unaware weapons of satan